from the Tribune News Network, this is Newsbreak. I'm Krishna Russell. An uptick in COVID-19 cases has left Princess Margaret Hospital operating at full capacity, according to PMH Administrator Mary Walker. The vast majority of patients there and those receiving care at the South Beach Healthcare Center are not vaccinated, Mrs. Walker said yesterday as she encouraged vaccination among Bahamians. She stressed that people who received the vaccine and contract the disease in most cases will not need to be hospitalized. She said, quote, our clinical team are actually indicating that the vast majority of the persons that we are seeing currently at Princess Margaret Hospital and South Beach Health Center, they are not vaccinated. She spoke at a virtual press conference for the signing of a contract for Capital Works at PMH and the Rand Memorial Hospital. Police have said that the aircraft that crashed in Treasure Key Abaco has been identified as a plane that was reported stolen. Police received reports of the theft on Tuesday. The plane had arrived in Treasure Key Airport on Friday and was scheduled to depart Monday when the theft is alleged to have taken place. This new development comes after Monday's fatal plane crash in Abaco. Onlookers said the plane appeared to have struggled to get off of the ground at the runway before the incident. According to the Air Accident Investigation Authority, Reports are that the aircraft after startup took quite a while before it started to take its off roll to the runway. Eyewitnesses stated that the aircraft appeared to be not making enough power as it appeared to struggle to get off of the ground. The aircraft used the entire runway and ended up in bushes approximately 2,000 feet beyond the end of the unusable runway after hitting several trees along the debris path. Weather at the time of takeoff was described as not bad, but just some light sprinkles. The agency said the weather shortly after the crash became intense, which along with the fire hampered rescue efforts. Former Deputy Prime Minister Cynthia Mother Pratt was admitted to hospital yesterday following a positive COVID-19 diagnosis more than a week ago. Dr. Linwood Brown, Mrs. Pratt's doctor, confirmed she was brought into hospital by ambulance early yesterday out of an abundance of caution for overnight monitoring. He said, quote, she's in stable condition and is in good spirits. She is coherent and alert in every aspect. This also means that she was able to walk on her own. She's a very strong woman. Following her admission for observation, Progressive Liberal Party leader Philip Brave Davis Davis issued a brief statement. He said his thoughts and prayers were with Mrs. Pratt and asked for Bahamians to respect her privacy and that of her family. A $90 million contract was signed yesterday to expand and upgrade infrastructure at Princess Margaret Hospital and the Rand Memorial in Grand Bahama. The agreement struck between the Beck Group, along with the Public Hospitals Authority and the Ministry of Health, enables construction of a new maternal and child health tower at the east of PMH's critical care block. This 96,288-square-foot facility is estimated to cost $55 million. As for the Rand, a new four-level tower on the site of the demolished administration and OBGYN wings will be built. This part of the project is valued at $30.6 million. The elevated structure addresses concerns about flooding, which particularly came to the forefront following Hurricane Dorian's devastation in Grand Bahama. Your complete news and information source, this is the Tribune News Network. In international news, gunmen assassinated Haitian President Jovenel Moise and wounded his wife in their home early this morning, inflicting more chaos on the Caribbean country that was already enduring gang violence, soaring inflation, and protests by opposition supporters who accused the leader of increasing authoritarianism. Interim Prime Minister Claude Joseph, who confirmed the killing, said the police and military military were in control of security in Haiti, the poorest country in the Americas, where a history of dictatorship and political upheaval have long stymied the consolidation of democratic rule. Despite Joseph's assurances that order would prevail, there was confusion about who should take control and widespread anxiety among Haitians. Authorities declared a state of siege in the country and closed the international airport. Nine people, including six secondary school students, were arrested in Hong Kong on Tuesday for allegedly plotting to set off homemade bombs in courts, tunnels, and trash cans as political tensions rise in the city where China is tightening its grip. Police said they were detained on suspicion of engaging in terrorist activity under a harsh national security law that Beijing imposed a year ago as part of a crackdown on dissent in the former British colony that has long enjoyed freedoms not seen on the Chinese mainland. Hong Kong authorities Authorities have used the law and acted in response to anti-government protests that rocked the city in 2019 to arrest many of the city's prominent activists. 
The Tribune's AccuWeather update a service of Bahamas Power and Light Company. Rain bands associated with Tropical Storm Elsa will continue to affect portions of the northwest Bahamas, while a building high-pressure system east of the area, along with the storm, will support brisk winds across the area today. Boaters should remain vigilant for possible water spout activity, and beachgoers should exercise caution due to the high risk of rip currents at east and south coast beaches. In the northwest and central Bahamas, it'll be partly cloudy, hot and humid, with a few isolated showers and the chance of an isolated thunderstorm through tonight. Small crafts caution remains in effect. Boaters should also be alert for gusty winds and higher seas in or near heavy showers or thunderstorms. Winds southeast to south at 15 to 20 knots over open waters. Seas 4 to 7 feet over the ocean. In the southeast Bahamas, it'll be partly to mostly sunny, windy and hot, with the chance of a few stray showers this afternoon, mostly fair and breezy tonight. A small crafts advisory is in effect. Winds easterly at 15 to 25 knots over open waters. Seas 5 to 8 feet over the ocean. We'll have a daytime high temperature of 91 degrees, a heat index of 105, and an overnight low temperature of 77. The sun will set at 801 and will rise tomorrow morning at 627. That's Newsbreak. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper, now on the streets. Or stay up to date online at Tribune242.com.